This is the Davis Training Facility. Probably the state-of-the-art training facility in the country. Pass on the left. Notify communications that you were involved in a traffic collision. Tell me what role this simulator experience plays in the training of young officers. The simulator is used for decision making only. A lot of these pursuits, guess what? They're not 35 miles an hour. You start seeing that guy picking up the speed, 45, 55, you're heading for the school zone. I'm thinking, 11 out of 51, discontinue the pursuit. Okay, training day. I will definitely wear a seatbelt. We are trying to teach our officers how to drive in control under any conceivable circumstance. I'm going to demonstrate the pit technique to you. Sergeant Reed's going to pull away. He's going to be our suspect. So I come up here, match his speed. I'm going to try and make very gentle contact and take him around. And will this car ever lose control, or will it just come to a stop if you do uh, it right? We are dictating where the suspect goes. Now, if we were doing this, we would have other units that would come in and actually affect the arrest. We're in a training environment here, and yet, all of a sudden, you put that lights and siren on, and you say you're in a pursuit. You could see them get a little tight and the breathing getting a little deep. Go ahead, go with them. Get in close, get in close. The more you experience that, and the less that adrenaline will take hold. Get up in his driver's side. Stay with him, stay with him, stay with him, stay with him. And turn hard, turn hard, turn hard. Pursuits are inherently dangerous. There's no two ways about it. We are trying to do everything we can to mitigate those dangers. It was a sensation, I have to say. Something for the carpool line.